Okay, okay, guys, I have Emil live with me. He's with his girlfriend, so it has to be sort of quick and speedy. Uh, I, I, you know, as you guys know, my prior prior past video was about um, Emil, the altercation, the incident that occurred uh, with Alan and his family, the crazy stuff that went down. And Emil, unfortunately, Emil was caught in the middle of it, and he had to kind of defend himself physically. And he held himself well. He carried himself good, and he knows martial art. Defend. He knows how to defend himself. And rifle shooters uh, dared me to call Emil a bitch. Um, and how dare rifle shooters for saying that? Because for number one, I respect uh, the rules, and I don't have any qualms with them or issues. Number two, when I was younger, I acted like a jerk and an idiot and won the fight, Emil. But I was uh, I was immature, and back then I was much more immature. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to turn it over to the person here that's the guest right now at the moment, the honor the honor of having him here, and he goes none other by Emil or the rules. So, here you go, Emil. Take it away, Emil. It's yours. Your, it's all yours right now. So, let me tell the YouTube what happened. Well, um, really quickly, like, if you can do it in a speedy manner, speedy fashion, if you could just let him know what went down, uh, you know, and... Uh, you know how like what maybe the you know just in a summarize what happened maybe you know just uh you know make it quick i mean just say how you what scared moments you had or if you were nervous uh if alan intimidated okay, you um, okay so pretty much you know alan had his like many episodes so that day when we were hanging out he was always so trying to fight with me cheers when we were even hanging out at charles I even almost called 911 on him back then, but I quickly hung up uh -huh. because Alan was trying to pick up a fight with me. So then we went. Uh -huh. Then he was trying to get weed from somebody. And I said, you know what, I'm not doing it. I don't have money. He was trying to get money out of me, which I didn't care. And he was trying to get money from me for, from the ATM, but no, <laughs> I never use an ATM. That's the thing. Uh -huh. But you know, because he's an addict, he started getting angry, he started picking a fight with me, even when we were going there. Uh -huh. And then we were walking there, there was a guy, he even saw us, he gave me a ride to Alan's parents, because Alan was trying to fight me at the street, and I was running away from him because I didn't want to fight. Uh -huh. So the guy saw that he drove me to his parents, so I went there, uh -huh. then Alan came in, he started getting angry. He started to insult his mom, insult his dad, insult Man. me. And he was demanding that we're going to get him weed. And then we didn't do it. Okay. He was knocking his leg on the door. And then I okay. started calling 911. Once I started calling 911, 911, he started getting angry. And he started beating up on his mom and his dad. And he started beating up on me. He pushed me off the chair, so I fall uh. over. Uh -huh. And then he was fighting his mom and his dad, and he uh -huh. was, while I was talk, talking to, uh, to the police, and then uh, he was trying to fight me as well, trying to fight three of us, but I didn't want to fight, so I escaped, I kind of went to a different room, I was talking to the police and telling them what's going on, while he was beating up on his mom and his dad. And then right before the police came in, yeah. Ryan and Alan got into me and we were outside and he's trying to fight me. He was trying <laughs> to kick me and punch me. Uh -huh. He didn't give me no serious damage, but he punched me a little bit, you know, like little bruise, but uh -huh. almost like nothing. Uh -huh. like that, but okay. my pretty much was kicking him out with my feet. I was kicking it with my feet and, you know, uh -huh. so keep the distance keep, from right, him. So keep him, him keep it, sir, keeping him you know. at bay, you were keeping him at bay pretty much. Keep, yeah, keep him out of harm's way. Like right. serious, you handled it. I think you handled it really good, though. Really good. Uh, let me ask you a question. Was this in the, was this in, during the nighttime or in the morning? Oh, that was actually during the day. It was like around five o'clock, five p.m. Was he this drunk? Was he? Was, was he? Do you think he was already high when he acted that way? Do you think he was like drunk or high when he acted like that? I don't know. It probably oh, was yeah. because you know. We've been changing out and doing all of that, and he's been doing it oh. also all over the week and all the time. Okay, I but I don't know, you know, you have to remember that he's bipolar. And he was bipolar. in his manic stage, so it's manic like, stage. you know. Right. This is how he gets, like. When he's bipolar. Okay, interesting, okay. Well, I'm glad My I... My tolerance gets up to yes. 
Okay. okay, he's a psychopath too. Okay, psychopath Actually. and bipolar. Psychopath and bipolar. Well, it was good con connecting. It was good. It was good <laughs> reconnecting. Good reconnecting with you. I know you said you had to go soon. Um, uh, we shall chat in the future. Um, thank you for um, sharing this with the YouTube world. And oh, you're welcome, Todd. We'll connect again sometime, okay? And be well, and we'll talk again. All right? You know, have fun with your girlfriend too. Well, I will trust you. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you're a tough dude. Uh, good, good job, man. Uh, I, you, you have my respect. You don't have to <laughs> All right, email. Carry on and uh, stay up and all the best, bro. Thanks, Todd. No problem, you too. dude. All right, later. Later. There you, there you have it with the email. Uh, he's, you know, he lived. Actually, his dad kicked him out long time ago and my dad let him live in the apartment while I was living there and my dad didn't like him my dad did not like email he's a he's a smart kid I mean he's younger than me he's just turned 30 not too long ago uh, his mom actually had a library he's from Russia St. Petersburg Russia he likes to have fun yeah he might have Asperger's or a little dash of autism maybe I do too I don't know no one's uh, no one's perfect everyone's got flaws I mean, we're all, no one is fucking 100% perfect. We all got our shortcomings, challenges, delays. I had to go to special school. It happens. Shit happens. I could, I could, I could have AIDS right now and be bedridden and be a vegetable or not be incoherent. Unable to move my hands or my arms. I could be maybe I'm not able to even though I feel like crap in the morning when I go to work I can I, I it could be the point where I wouldn't even have a job I could I could be unemployed I could have no car I could I could be more miserable than I am now huh. even though I'm kind of pissed on a lot of levels but shit's not fair but I could it could be worse I mean Shit sucks, but it could be worse. I order me a pizza or lasagna. I think I'm gonna get a lasagna. Or no spaghetti and meatballs. I'm gonna get spaghetti and meatballs. Salt and vinegar. Lastly, I wanted to share with the video here. Um, say that uh Bud Light Platinum. I wanted to say that uh, uh how am I doing here? Uh, here shit. I went to Taco Bell. I'm a big fan of Mexican food. My birthday's Monday. I'm gonna be forty. Um I went to Taco Bell. I'm gonna just have my birthday party in a Mexican restaurant. I tried the black bean burrito. I'm a Taco Bell. Uh, nerd. Huh. I'm like a Star Trek Trekkie. I'm a Taco Bell belly. <laughs> that black bean burrito, man, it's not bad. They put like three trees blend, red sauce, um, black beans, rice, seasoned rice. Yeah, it's bland tasting, the flavor, but you add a little hot sauce in there, it's good to go. It's probably bad. Healthy, vegetarians, it's actually pretty alright. I like black beans. Uh, and they have the cheeserita. Scallions. Well, what it is, is it's just, I think they discontinued it, it's on the secret menu. You just get um, cheese roll up, get some fire sauce and some... Uh, Nacho sauce or nacho cheese sauce. Nacho sauce. Blend that fire sauce in there. Dip the cheese roll up. That's a cheeserito. Enchirito is good. The enchirito also is on the secret menu. Enchirito is like an enchilada. Beef and beans. Cheese with the red sauce. It's like an enchilada sauce. I like the chili cheese burrito. It used to be called the Cholito. Cheese Cholito in the 80s. Very good. I recommend that. And a quesarito, that's really good. It's like a, they call it a quesarito because it's like a toss between a quesadilla and a burrito. 
what they do is they take a quesadilla, they wrap it up, double wrap it like a burrito. You get the best of both worlds, quesadilla and a burrito. A little Taco Bell science for you guys. You can also ask if you, I have the Mexican pizza. Ask for the Mexican pizza sauce. That's an upgrade. You upgrade to the Mexican pizza sauce. And then you can get the nacho sauce. You can get Pica de Gallo or Pica de Gallo or Pica de Gallo. Pica de Gallo is just onions and tomatoes. It's really good. Uh, guacamole is good. Lime is good. I like Mexican food. I like nachos. I like salsa. Later. Until next time. Do do click.